Wow, family, happy sunshine. Somebody in the comments mentioned that they saw a page that showed links to death records or death certificates for Parker Still. And I'm here at death.publicrecordscheck.com. Find any death record and obituary. I put in Parker Still and a birth date of 9-8 of 1978. Or, sorry, you know, the, the ninth day of August 1978 is how I should say that. And when I click on the search button, it brings this this page up. Now, in order to view the records, I, I've clicked on the view records link and it basically brings me to, hey, you need to subscribe first. So there's a barrier to entry to seeing those records. I figured before I paid any money to this website, I was gonna put it out to the family. Uh, look at this, Parker H. Still, three entries for Parker H. Still, two for just straight up Parker Still. I searched with the date of birth. I'm not quite sure why it's got the uh, non-breaking space here, uh, HTML code. But Batesville, Mississippi, Knoxville, Tennessee, um, the only town I'm really not that sure of is uh, Sen Senatoba, Mississippi, is that how you say that? But look, there's genealogy records, estate records, death records on Parker H. Still. Uh, is, is there somebody who's got experience pulling up death records do they have already have access to this system maybe maybe they can find some information that way and pull it out um, this is this is a a, a remarkable observation um, I'm I'm really quite blown away uh, what do you guys think do you have any love lighter links on this one Send them to lunacy, L-U-N-A-S-E-E, -E, at protonmail.com. And I want to make an important disclaimer here. Uh, right now, we are only looking for information that is publicly available for Parker Still. We're really confused by the testimony that we're looking at. And... We're trying to recon reconcile how this can be going on in today's age in the courtroom. And everything we try to find on Parker still leads to more questions. And now it looks like there may be death records for Parker still. So when I said that there were other people that were checking into... Parker Still in Mississippi. These are just people who have done this on their own accord. They are only looking at publicly available information, only doing online research. Um, and, and that's really all I'm comfortable doing. You're, you're not going to see me starting to go out and knock on doors looking for Parker Still. That's, that's not my function in this, and I'm not asking anybody else to do this. If you're interested in this case and you have expertise in the areas that we have questions in and you can help clear up confusion, you can help shed light, I really want to hear from you. But right now we're in a information gathering phase and that's really all I'm comfortable in as far as a role is with Heather Ann Tucci Giraffe and, and Randy Bean, and that's just gathering information. So we're we're starting to come into some very some very 
I don't know what adjective I'm going to use to describe it, but, but they're alarming. They're alarming observations here. So there were some comments expressed to me about people's safety in trying to track this down. And what I want to say is check in with your gut, check in with your heart. If you already have expertise and you're just searching for public records and you feel comfortable doing that, I would love to have more information. But I just want to be really clear. This is just about gathering information and connecting the dots. And that's where I start and end with the whole Heather Ann Tucci. I don't claim to know what we do with all of this information once we get it. It's certainly not, uh, certainly not a good idea to be going on knocking on, uh, on, on an FBI agent's door at this point, especially when, when now we've got possibility of death records. Nobody knows who's going to be behind that door. And this is not going out, boots on the street, knocking on doors and contacting people now with this information. I don't, that doesn't feel wise to me at all. So I just want to be very clear and state that this YouTube channel, it's just about making observations and asking questions. And we gather information to make our observations and we do that from information that's publicly available and that's it we craft our truth from there all right i love you guys a lot thank you so much for all of these bright minds all of these intelligent beings out there that are motivated to shine their light onto this case. It's really starting to take on a different feel than it did when I started this. If you have any love lighter links, lunacy, L-U-N-A-S-E-E -E, at protonmail.com. I love you guys. We'll see you on the next one.